Just outside the old walled city center of Chiang Mai, the Wat Lok Mali is one of the city's older temples. To get there, exit the old city on the north end through Chiang Puak Gate and turn left. The temple is about 400 meters from the gate. Due to a close crossing opposite Chiang Puak Gate, we had to drive a bit along the moat surrounding the old city of Chiang Mai. The temple complex is open daily from 6 a.m. until 5 p.m. There is no entrance fee. The Wat Lok Moli is located just outside the old walled city on Tanon Mani Naparat Soi 2, next to the PPT gas station. The temple houses one of the largest and most impressive cities in Chiang Mai. Although the exact founding date of the temple is not known, it is likely that the first structures were built during the 14th century. The name of the temple appeared for the first time in the year 1367. That was a part of the period of Paya Guana, the sixth king of Lana Kingdom. The temple was probably a royal watch, since the kings of the Mengrai dynasty maintained the temple. The temple is aligned along a north-south axis. Most Buddhist temples are orientated towards the east towards the rising sun. Visiting these temples allows travelers like us to witness firsthand the intricate art history, architectural mastery and spiritual resonance preserved for centuries. The massive Chedi was built in 1527 when it must have dominated the area. It has been restored several times over the centuries and is in good condition. The Chedi sits on a large square base. Each side of the upper part of the Chedi has a niche that contains the Buddha image. The niches are flanked on both sides by Tavara figures, a kind of celestial beings. The Chedi contains the ashes of several kings of the Mingrai dynasty, who ruled the Lana kingdom from the end of the 13th century until 1558 when the Burmese invaded the kingdom. The Chedi is the synthesis of a philosophy of life, of a certain way of dying. The spire that aims for the sky indicates a certain momentum, as does the symbolism of the uneven numbers which seeks to be evened out and fulfilled. Symbolically, the structure of the Chedi, with its uneven numbers of squares, inside of which is a circle allows mortal men to go from earth the squares to heaven represented by the circle my math teacher back in the gymnasium in 1968 told us that the circle is a symbol of eternity no start and no end at the end of the lana kingdom and the rule of the mingrai dynasty the temple probably lost its importance. In 1558, the Burmese invaded Lana and it became a tributary state. Burmese rule lasted more than two centuries and ended in 1775 after a revolt led by Chao Kavila of Lampang. A Vihan or assembly hall in front of the city was built in 2003. The wooden teak structure covered in black lacquer is built in traditional Lana architectural style with an overlapping roof consisting of several tiers with a steep pitch and sweeping very low almost to the ground. The barred boards are decorated with nauka whose scaly bodies consist of many different color pieces of glass. The front entrance of the building is guarded by two large nagas, the mythological serpents. At the apex of each tier are chofa, eagle finals with wind bells. The panels on the front of the Bihan contain finely sculptured wooden carvings of animals and of art of figures. 
and above this, on the gable end, are panels containing carvings depicting scenes from the Buddhist texts. Floral capitals of the lotus top the two columns either side of the floor. The Vihar is another integral part of Atlok Muli's architectural ensemble. This spacious structure serves as a gathering place for monks and worshippers to conduct religious ceremonies, meditate and listen to sermons. Within the Vihan, visitors can find a large exquisite statue of the Buddha seated in the Bhumisparsa Mudra, a gesture symbolizing enlightenment. The statue's serene expression and elegant form invite contemplation and reflection, further emphasizing the spiritual atmosphere of Wat Lok Moli. With its high sloping roof adorned with intricate wooden carvings and gilded details, the Vihan showcases the meticulous craftsmanship and attention to detail characteristic of Lana architecture. Artistic elements include intricate wood carvings, gold leaf establishments, and colorful mural paintings depicting scenes from the Buddha's life and teachings. A teak wooden pavilion in the temple complex holds a statue of Queen Siddhaprapha, who ruled the Lana kingdom from 1545 to 1546. Matlok Muli temple complex also contains Kuti, the living quarters for the monks. The large decorated gateway providing entrance to the temple complex is guarded by two large guardian figures. King Koena, who ruled Lana during the second half of the 14th century, is said to have invited a number of monks from Burma, present-day Myanmar, to Chiang Mai to spend the teachings of Theravada Buddhism. During their stay in Chiang Mai, the monks lived in the Wat Lak Muli temple. During the end of the 18th century, the city of Chiang Mai was abandoned and the Wat Lak Muli was likely left deserted and fell into disrepair. Only during the second half of the 20th century, the temple was renovated. ว้าวอยู่ใต้ตะเกียงนี่ก็ตัวอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ